Hello once again, everybody. We're visiting now with Ken Platfoot. Ken is teacher here at TriStar and teaches agricultural mechanics. Uh, how long have you been involved here with the program? Uh, I started here March of 2017. Uh, started teaching, actually started on a Wednesday and was given a class to teach at that point. Okay. Well, you've seen a lot of change. Uh, what have your students uh, been saying as far as, uh, you know, coming to a class like this, uh, maybe the, for the first time, having a little bit of experience may, maybe back on the farm, but learning so much more here? Yeah, absolutely. We get students from uh, all kinds of backgrounds starting in. Some have some type of background or experience in mechanics. Some don't. Some may have a background a little bit in uh, mechanics as far as uh, agriculture wise or automotive or somewhere in between as far as power sport wise goes. So uh, we get all different levels coming in and uh, students get to go everywhere from out here. What would you say uh, are they surprised at more than anything else after they've been here a while? What they thought they knew and what they actually learned uh, and what they get out of the class. It's, it's the schooling that these type of students really enjoy and take pride in doing. Okay, very good. I understand as we look back there, uh, there's some work being done on, uh, on, well, I see a lot of work on a tractor back there, and there's engine repair, you uh, tr uh, troubleshoot. In fact, there's competitions involved, and does that go back with the FFA involvement? Yeah, absolutely. So through the FFA, we'll do uh, CDE contests, so we'll actually go out and do competitions, uh, agriculture equipment contests, and we'll do other ones that are small engines or ag mechanic skills where it's it ranges on what they actually work on, the basic functions and testing the students on see what their knowledge is. Well, with the involvement with FFA and uh, pulling students from the nine different high schools, uh, wouldn't you say that uh, there are kids not only from the farm, but from the city, uh, maybe the urban areas that uh, get involved a little bit, especially with a facility like this? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's amazing um, when their eyes are opened up when they see a facility like this. Now these students will, if my calculations are correct, are the last ones that actually toured the old facilities. So after this, the students will only know the new facility versus seeing what the old facilities were like and the improvements that we made. But once they come through here, it's, it just amazes them uh, the, what we have here. Uh, in the area. So. I understand that uh, as early as the eighth grade the students will begin a tour here so you're getting them right at the start of high school. Yeah it gets their eyes opened up and see what else is out there uh, and gets them maybe steering towards what they want to do as a you know a skilled trade coming through TriStar. Okay with uh, the involvement here with the FFA do you find out that uh, there's uh, you've opened up the avenue so to speak of uh, maybe not in uh, ag mechanics but maybe in other areas uh, relating to agriculture or uh, just uh, the technological advances that a student can go toward? Yeah absolutely a student doesn't have to leave this course going into mechanics field there's many that do and many that don't so uh, it really opens their eyes up, especially when we go touring different places, and then we'll share with our animal health program, touring different places together. So animal health may see stuff directed towards mechanics if we go places together, and my students may see stuff more towards plant and animal science as well. And of course, education is what it's all about. Uh, have there been mentions about uh, kids coming out of, uh, or I should say students, the more than just young people, uh, th these students uh, taking a look at their future and maybe want to get involved in teaching for a next generation? Uh, actually, I've heard students say that, so it's funny you just asked that. Someone said that last week that their goal is to someday be able to teach and learn their career field and get skilled at it enough to be able to come Route B uh, like I did, I was a mechanic and became a teacher. So they actually have a goal set to do the same thing. I guess you call that paying forward. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, if a, a student is uh, watching, perhaps a parent of a student, a potential student, uh, what uh, do they need to do to get a little bit more information? Uh, you can visit our website, uh, follow us on Facebook uh, to get information. Give us a call if you need to set up a visit. We can discuss. I'm, I'm open to discuss with um, and everyone here at TriStar is really open to discuss with fu potential future students. Okay, well, Ken, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. And stay with us back with more right after this.